Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 13, and after a week off, we're continuing our playthrough of Portal. Uh, this time, starting with Portal 2. Yeah, that's right. It only took a couple of weeks, and we finished all the content from the first Portal game. And now it is time to uh, to pick up Portal 2. Woot, indeed. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I gotta refresh something real quick. Alright, so, <clears throat> Portal 2, you're playing the same character, you're still playing Chell, um, and it is in a great many ways a continuation of Portal 1. How much time elapsed between the two is somewhat uncertain. And what I like about Portal 2 is that they vastly expanded the story in the game. There's a lot more of, um, well, a lot more of everything. Um, <laughs> there, there's a bit of history of the Umbrella Corporation, a bit of history of the development of the Portal Guns, a, a bit more of the Founder. Uh, you learn a little bit more about GLaDOS. You, you get some new tools to puzzle with, some new puzzles to uh, puzzle through, and all that good fun stuff. And... Um, so with all that, let's go ahead and hit play single player game. Let's start a new game. And we're beginning at chapter one, the courtesy call. And uh, let's begin portal two. Oh, sad robot. Looks awfully familiar though, doesn't it? <laughs> Goodbye, GLaDOS. Or the wreckage thereof. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical... Oh, sorry. Physical Aperture and Science, not Umbrella exercise. Corporation. Umbrella Corporate Corporation is Half-Life. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. All right, we'll familiarizing you with the controls a little bit better than the uh, the, the first portal. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. <laughs> there is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Stare arc. at the art. Oh, there's that familiar timer sound. If you suspect uh -huh. staring at art has not provided the required intellectual <laughs> sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. All right, and this is basically a run-through of all your main controls. You know, moving around, jumping, although they don't get into jump and crouch, really. That, that'll come a little bit later, but E is your use key, so let's go ahead and uh, use the bed. Sometime later. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? is to inform you Anyone that in there? subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? Assume to have exercised his or her rights. Hello? Ah! ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please mm -hmm. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. <laughs> all right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, uh -huh. you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Uh, so we've been asleep for nine, right, nine, nine, nine. That's a lot of nines, Hello? so it's at least a couple of years. Because you'd have to go through at least three Most years to get a uh, nine, to nine, nine. Some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months uh -huh. in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not <laughs> out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't a very alarmed, minor case right? of serious uh, brain you do, damage. Although you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. 
Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please um. prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still I'm not on? feeling so good. The reserve power ran out. Uh, so of I the appear to be not in a room so much as a trailer. Hold on. Like this is a bit tricky. you could have parked this on a 16 wheeler or something. Tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Oh. Why? 10,000, you say? Am I gonna make it through? But on of space. Um. Uh, just, just gotta Where get through you? here. Okay, I just gotta uh. concentrate. Uh -huh. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? <laughs> ah, I see, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. <laughs> I love Wheatley. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight. All right. If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks. Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, oh, almost no. there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh, it says docking station. Oh, the docking station Good appears news. to be a little bit lower that there, mate. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override. So there's on one this mystery solved. Could get a bit technical. Uh, Hold on. A manual override on the wall. Almost there. Why, why do I get the feeling Remember, I know exactly what that is, and it's not what I holes. want? Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold uh -huh. on this time. I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, <laughs> at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Curious, does he say anything if you don't move right away? All right, off you go. Go on, just march on through that hole. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to sit there too, too long. I know. I know. That's the spirit. <laughs> Good luck. Hello. Oh, and this looks familiar. Aperture Science in We're missing a bed right there. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our <laughs> control. However, potentially thanks to emergency testing significance. protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal well, science can and still emergency be done. testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh look, the little clock is flashing 12. Like somebody needs to reboot it or something. Yeah, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Like we saw it a couple of weeks ago. Chamber 00 of 19. Huh. Funny that. Well, the radio doesn't appear to be picking anything up. Huh. Funny that too. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. If cube and button based testing were the cause of this emergency, don't worry. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Well, okay then. You notice things do have a little bit better look to it, so. Yeah, I like the cubes light up now when they hit the button, in addition to the, uh, the logos part of the on off. Here. Please note so, the incandescent particle reminding field you about picking up buttons, this or picking up cubes and placing them on buttons. Will vaporize any unauthorized oh. equipment that passes yeah. through it. And, uh, 
The material emancipation grid is still a thing. Uh, looks a lot fancier though. Elevators look a little different too. A little more modern. Well, I mean, except for the rubble and debris. Hello? Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay. Best get to the elevator then. Your doom is loading. Please wait. Oh, wait, no. That's probably something else. <laughs> if you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing um. a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I, I forgot that they upped uh, some of the best parts of Portal with the sarcasm and whatnot, you know. Because the material emancipation grid may have emancipated the tubes right out from our ears. Lovely. One of 19. Well, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Huh. I mean, a little beat up. Alright, so there's a portal. Where was our, uh... Where was our other one? Ah, that's right. This one's got, uh, buttons to help you out instead. Alright. Yeah, I think this is the most modern of the, the games in my Games Revisited series so far. Portal 2 was released in 2011, which I really want to say was a long time ago, or not a long time ago, or I'm not entirely sure because which I want to say. the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before uh -huh. re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down <laughs> the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> when society has been rebuilt, you say. Okay. Um. There. There appears to be an awful lot of debris in that pneumatic tube there. I'm not sure I want to go through that. I mean, I'm sure I have to because that's the next part of the game, but I'm pretty sure that's not where I want to be. Oh, my. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. <laughs> I love it. In case of an Animal King takeover. Everybody bowing down to the turret. That, uh... Okay. Are we saying... In the jungle? Mighty jungle? The Lion King sleeps tonight? No? No. Okay, don't worry. I won't do it. Um... Test chamber hey, two, you say? You made it. Oh. There should be a, a Hi. portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Hey, Maybe it fell this off. looks familiar. Oh. oh. Hello. Can you see the Hi. portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait for uh -huh. an hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? <laughs> Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my help. Oh, look at the debris. Conveniently stacked up. Huh. 
Is someone charting the phases of the moon? Oh, interesting. It's almost like that'll become important later. Uh. Well, that looks familiar. That looks like GLaDOS. Bunch of scientists. Oh. That's right, she did, uh... Did they kill all the scientists? Yeah, I know. I love Wheatley. Convenient gun is convenient. Oh, look. It's an offer of cake. That looks familiar, too. <laughs> um... Okay. Oh, no. That would be us destroying things. And... Here, let's see if we can get a better... Better view of that one. Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely us destroying things. And that would appear to be us. Huh. The story of Portal 1 told in four portraits. No, five portraits. All right. Hey, now we've only got the blue portal. There are surfaces that you cannot create a portal on, and there are surfaces that you can. Alright. So when do we get the other half? That's what I want to know. They reintroduce you to the game. And the complete... And oh. oh, I forgot about that. They give you uh, indicators on the screen where your portals are. So it's a little bit easier to find where you last left them. Yes, that will become very important as we progress. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured <laughs> that all lethal military uh -huh. androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share... <laughs> They've all been provided one copy of the Laws of Robotics to share. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh, this is all looking very familiar, doesn't it? If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the Laws of Robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate <laughs> grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Fill it out in your self-reporting form. Huh? What's this one? Oh, no. This is still about the Animal King takeover. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, I'm sure it'll help. They promised me and everything. All right. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> hey, hey, where'd my smooth jazz go? <laughs> Remember your evacuation training. They, they do all appear to be bravely running away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the smooth jazz. Alright, uh... Yeah, let me get through this last chamber, and then I'll wrap the episode, but the live stream will continue. Just a reminder, I pre... Oh, hi. No achievements for that, though, sadly. Alright, so we got our button. Got our door. We got our cubes and stuff. This is the same deal as we did in Portal 1. So if you missed all that, you get to do it again. Alright. Beef. 
before I start, chamber number four. This is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do help the channel out. Follow on Twitch and subscribe on the YouTube channel. That way you get notified when I go live on Twitch and when new episodes and other content get posted on YouTube. So, live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.